Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about using PayPal with multi-currency. In this example, I'm going to use my PayPal account, where in the month of August, I had both USD and CAD as my currency. So at the first page of my PayPal statement, you can see that I start and end with $0 balances. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the transactions within my PayPal account. All right, so these are the transactions within my PayPal account. For simplicity, I edited out a couple of transactions that I don't need for the purpose of this video. I wanna walk you through what's happening. What's happening is gonna apply no matter what accounting software you're using. So we're just gonna talk in general about this, and then we'll go into the nuts and bolts of how it happens within QuickBooks. So my PayPal account, as we saw from page one, I don't keep a balance in there. So when I needed to pay Lauren's office, paid her 360, I had to get the money from somewhere. In this case, it comes from my credit card. So I take the money and I transfer it from my credit card into my PayPal account. It lives there for about one half of one second. And then it goes over to Lauren. What this looks like for me in real life is that I just pay my bill. I choose PayPal as my checkout. In the PayPal checkout screen, I say, oh, don't pull from my PayPal balance because I don't have a PayPal balance. Instead, pay this from my credit card. So this is what happens. So I've taken the money and I've taken it off my credit card and moved it over to the PayPal. I've taken it from PayPal and moved it to Lauren. The same idea applies for the 4962. The 4962, the positive number says, hey, this is a deposit from your credit card into PayPal. Fantastic. So I just transfer from my credit card into PayPal. And then down below it says minus 4962. But over to the left, this time instead of saying, okay, this is a payment to, you know, instead of saying this is a payment to a particular vendor or a particular company, it says this is a currency conversion. What that means is that my currency, my 4962 started is something in USD, and then it moved from USD to something else. So in this case, it moved from USD to CAD. So my 4962, it started on my credit card and transferred into PayPal. And then PayPal USD said, oh, you know what? Move this over to PayPal CAD. Here it is, you see there's a deposit of 5988. All this is is just a, a deposit that said, take the money out of PayPal USD and put it into PayPal CAD. And then spend the money out of PayPal CAD and send it over to Weekly Flowers. By the way, if you're ever in Ottawa and need a flower shop, it's a really good one. But that, that's what's happening, right? So big picture, the money starts on my Visa card, goes into PayPal, PayPal says, oh, here's some USD funds. Internally, PayPal converts it to CAD, and then PayPal sends it over to Weekly Flowers. All I did was go onto the flower website, enter in the flowers that I wanted, and you know that whole checkout process. I put in my PayPal account, and everything that you see here happened behind the scenes, and I didn't have to do anything. So that was pretty simple. The idea might take you a second, but it's pretty simple. Now to implement that in, in your accounting software, and in this example, I'm going to use QuickBooks. So let me walk you through it, because it does take a few minutes just to kind of get the aha moment for it. So what I've got is my QuickBooks sample file. So let's go ahead and go to the chart of accounts and just take a look at what we have. In the chart of accounts, I have PayPal CAD, $0 balance, that just is what it is. And then I have PayPal USD with an imaginary $25,000 balance. That's what it is. The balances don't really matter because what I want to show you is not all of my previous examples. 
what I want to show you is just how you're going to record this within your QuickBooks. So let's do it the manual way and then I can show you by importing the CSV. If I go to new in the upper left hand corner and I select transfer, I'm going to start with the first one. So I'm going to say, okay, transfer from credit card. I'm going to scroll down until the right hand side of my screen says credit card. I use Bank of America, Alaska Airlines, so I might as well use that for this. And then we'll say PayPal USD. And so the transfer amount, what did we do? We did 360. So let's go 360. I'm not going to put any information in the memo about why I transferred the money because it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to say this happened on 8721. And then I'm going to go save and close. So what I've just done is I've just made this entry right here, this credit card deposit. So it's a deposit from the credit card into my PayPal account. If I look at my PayPal USD, I'm going to go view register. You can see 87 transfer deposit 360. All right. So the second thing that happened is I paid 360. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to new. I'm going to go to expense. Go Lauren Bergen. Make sure I spell it right. Uh, she's a vendor. She's paid in USD. Where did I pay her from? I paid her from PayPal USD. Paid her on 87. So this will go legal and professional 360. Save and close. If you're not sure what just happened there with the expense, I do have other videos where I walk through how to enter your expenses. I just want you to see what's happening. Thank you.